and welcome to Norris Cove or welcome back. I am Yoshida and today we're going to be doing a cash stuffing. Yes, another one. So now Saturdays are the day for cash stuffing. If you're new here, just a quick rundown. I'm a self-employed hairstylist who gets paid through cash, cash app and Zill. I am not a zero-based budgeter, but I do like to budget my money, see where my money is going and basically keep account of it. And I'm on a mission to save money and just have a better life for myself. So if that's something that you are interested in, please stick around and stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so let's hop right on into it. I didn't bring the iPad down. They really just kind of forgot. Plus, that's why I don't use it. <laughs> but I do have my little sticky notes here. We're going to get our cash out. This wallet has been working for me to carry this. Um, I took out all my credit cards so that I don't use them. All I carry is like my bank cards. Um, that's been working for me. And uh, it is what it is. Y'all, let me tell you, today was, well, not today. This week was... <laughs> excellent i made some extra money and i really like i had uh one new client and i wanted to take her whole thing and just phew. but again i'm still playing catch up i still have bills and stuff also let me say if you don't know um i think i got asked this question before as well but when i get my money on an everyday basis whether it's cash zelle or cash app um, if a bill is due, I pay it out of that because I've been trying to figure out like, where is my money? Where is it going? But if a bill is due, I pay it that day. That's why I have this week ahead envelope so that I could be a week ahead and I can kind of pay myself a check and like have a steady amount that I would be cashed up in a week, if that makes sense. So um, that's what I do with my money and if I need household things or whatever. So what I'm doing now is just kind of building up my cash envelope so that I can be better prepared ahead of the game. And just don't be out here looking crazy, okay? So, today, we should have $229. Let's get started. I'm going to move those aside. And I'm going to try to stay in frame. Um, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 155, 50, 60. Mm. Oh, Lord. Hold on. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180, 90, 95, 200, 25, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Oh, wait a minute. So, let me write. Let me add this over. 95, 200. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We have $229. Okay, Yoshida, like, girl, get it together. What is really going on here? Um, and let me make sure my all my money is facing the same way I thought that it was. And I may recount that, but we should have $229. And y'all, I have a lot of fives. And then I went to the store up the street for me because I had, like, another 220s. And I had broke it and bought something. And then finally, I just asked her, I said, hey, can I get change for... Um, a 20 and she was like sure so it worked out yeah i had to blow a little dust off the cash drawer but anywho okay so of course i'm stuffing some new envelopes i brought back another envelope and i'm excited about it and i'm gonna tell you about it as i go along so first up we're gonna stuff eating out because i have I need to make a, I made a new envelope, but I need to label it. Um, we do like celebrate birthdays and stuff like that. And then I have a couple of friends that I go out with once a month to have lunch with. So we're going out on Tuesday. So my limit is 25, okay? So I'm gonna take a 20 and a five, but I know me. And it might be less because um, since I've been out the hospital, I don't eat as much. Um, sadly, I'm, well, good thing I'm losing weight, but I don't eat out. I eat out, but I don't eat out a lot anymore. Okay, so that's all we have for this wallet will just be that. I was going to do gas, but um, my gas is looking good, and I'm just going to build upon that. So, anywho, that's in another envelope anyway. So, next up, let's hit debt. We're giving debt a $5. So, we have... Now we have $7 in debt, and I'm just slowly building this. Um, I always look at other people when they have the thousands of dollars of stuff, and I was like, I need to catch them when they were starting at 
a dollar. So that's me. I'm just going to start living, trying not to get discouraged and keep it moving. Um, in our $1 challenge, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the ones is just going to our $1 challenge. Next up, we have Christmas. Christmas is getting two fives. And now Christmas has 11. Last year I was doing this, Christmas is getting like $30 a week and that was working. But right now we're just kind of building up only because I was out. So we're just going to build up until we can get a set amount. So that's Christmas. Um, emergency fund. We're skipping taxes. Savings. I put another $25 in my savings account. I had 50 in there already. This is in the bank. I need to fill this out. Um, but I had to use it at the beginning of the week to put to make a bill, and I was just scared. So once I got the money back, I just put it back in my savings, which is 50 and then I transferred another 25 So I have $75 in my savings in the bank. I just need a thing for it. And so no IRA or retirement. I want to get to that eventually. But my main focus is this right here, my emergency fund and my new category or old category. So emergency fund is going to get um, 70 it's going to get this 50, 10, and two fives. So now, emergency fund. Let's get this money together. Emergency fund has 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, 50, 55, 155, eight. And this is what week three, so I'm gonna keep this rolling. And this week, let me just tell you what the envelope is. It's gonna be planning. I already had the envelope. I just stopped putting in it. But the Go Wild tickets came, and I said I really want to go because it's gonna be here in Washington D.C. Why not go? And so, like, you could do half payment of like three twenty-seven. But I had it, but I didn't have it on the 15th because I didn't want to just break my bill money. I didn't want to go on my savings. I didn't want to go to my emergency fund. And then as the week went on and I saw how great the week was going, I was like, I could just pay for them, you know, kind of in full. So the next day is the 29th. So I think it'll be like 349 basically 350 or $399. So I'm going to be working on the planning um, envelope. All right. So we got emergency fund funded. I haven't done nail supplies in a while, but I need like some acetone. That's like my nails I haven't done because I'm being lazy and I want to soak these off. I have some acetone, but I need to add, I want to get another gallon. It's going to cost me more than a five, but I'm just going to throw this five in nail supplies and just start building this up. So I'll probably buy it, but just kind of slowly build this up. Household, I have not contributed to because I've just been doing you know, the necessary things. So household is going to get five because the holidays are coming up and I just want to have some extra. And I already got, you know, cleaning supplies. Just building that up again. Business supplies is getting five. And let's see what we got in business supplies. So now we have eight and business supplies. I've been looking at some new things I want to add to the shop. Um, I'm going to probably just pay through those through my account and then kind of let this build up. Boss Moves gets nothing. Luxury nothing. 52 week. Bentley doesn't get anything. Vacation is going to get five. Oh, and I got to tell y'all what else I'm doing. So we give five to vacation. So vacation has $16 now. Y'all, I'm having a little summer. I'm going to put the fan on for this quick, private summer. If it gets loud, I'll turn it off. Okay, next up we have Gerald, which is my husband. He gets five. So he now has ten. I'm just kind of letting this build up until I get in a rhythm and I can just hand him a lump sum of money. And like I said, I have a goal for this, but I'm just building it up. And that's ten. Maybe give it to him for Christmas or something. Who knows? All right. Next up is a booth rent. Booth rent gets 20. And I'm paying extra on my booth rent. This is for when those weeks I can't pay. Um, like I said, maybe if I get short one week, I may just take out of this. But right now, booth rent has 45. 
like when I was out sick, this would I wouldn't be paying back if I had this beefed up. So we're definitely trying to beef this up. But right now I'm paying the back roof rent that I owe and luckily she's working with me. So and let's go over to this one. And also I'm gonna separate um I'm doing sinking funds, but I'm gonna separate them to high priority, low priority, and things like that. So here we go. Next thing we have is week ahead. This is my week ahead envelope. It's going to get two fives. And so we have 20 in a week ahead. This envelope is to basically, again, kind of act as the same purpose as the booth rent. Right? If I'm out and I can't pay my bills, um, I'll have a week worth of income in here. Also, I want to get to the point, so this would probably double of a week's income because I want to get to the point where I'm kind of living off of this, paying bills through this, but pay myself kind of like at the end of the week, if that makes sense. Next up, car maintenance. Car maintenance gets $5. I have an oil change coming up this week and I've been debating like, should I take from this? But I think I'm just going to beef this up. Go ahead and pay my car insurance out of my pay. And, I mean, not my pay, my car insurance. My oil change out of my pay and beef this up so now it gets five we have five six seven eight nine and ten and i figured the only way to kind of get there is just start slow beef it up give it what i can until i can get to a set amount so i really need to my main funds need to be week ahead um emergency fund and you know besides planning so here is the planning envelope so this is what i decided you guys this was the rent envelope. Remember, my daughter said that should not be your goal. <laughs> I'm gonna take from the rent envelope. And then I'm gonna take 50 and I'm adding the 10. So um, planning gets 60. So we have 60 in planning. And you guys, that is it. So next week, if I have extra between emergency fund and planning is where it's gonna go. And of course, I'm trying to get in the habit of giving myself $20 a week towards my savings. But this week I did 25. That is on my budget insert. So yay me. Matter of fact, let's whip that out. And what I think I'm gonna do is just print out that insert that is on my um, iPad because I'm just not gonna remember that iPad. And I prefer pen and paper. So here, where is my, we did, emergency fund and i'm gonna go in and finish these cash envelopes and sinking funds so we said we would give emergencies fund 50 we did that but we gave it something else and we gave savings 25 i stuck to that so emergency fund got uh 70 dollars so let's change that to 70 and i'll fill in the rest of this and then we'll be going over this on the next video my week how it turned out wait till y'all see how much a girl made this week so anywho um thank you all for stopping by i hope you enjoyed today's video if you would love to see more videos like this from me and you enjoyed today's video do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell and i'll see you in my next video bye